Good morning. Welcome to Life Point Alliance. It is a beautiful day. The sun keeps fluctuating, but you know, it's still a beautiful Sunday. My name is Tamiwa. My name is Thomas, and we welcome you to the 9.30 a.m. service here at Life Point Alliance Church. Uh, especially if you're new, we want to extend a warm welcome to you. We believe Life Point Alliance is a place where you can belong. And if you're new and want to learn more about our church, you can scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen. It has information about different events that we do, the different ministries that Life Point Alliance has to offer offer we'd love to connect with you and get you plugged in uh, with a loving Christian family exactly um, speaking about connecting with you and QR codes you can also give your offering by going to our website um, Thomas already talked about all the things we have on our website mm. but in addition to that you can go to lifepointalliance.org slash give and you can give your offering there or you can scan the QR codes on your screen to give your offering as well yeah absolutely um, okay, this week our social media team asked a question, and I wasn't sure what to expect with some of these responses. Uh, the agree. question was, what is a quote that motivates you? And we have some of the responses here for what's a quote that motivates you. Um, we had a couple people say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens yes, me. So Kim, shout out to Kim. Absolutely. Uh, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Yes. Got to know when to get out. Uh one of the students from our youth group commented, he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep hmm. to gain what he cannot lose. Which I thought was very, very wise for someone in high school. <laughs> to me, what do you have a quote that motivates you? You know, that's also a hard question for me. These questions are so hard. Yeah. But um, because I, I have a lot of quotes that I like. I'm somebody who really enjoys quotes. But I thought of it and I thought of the most recent one. So recently, someone, shout out someone in this church, actually, um, they said to me, remember to be a cornerback. And what that means is the cornerback in football, which I don't know anything about, <laughs> but um, <laughs> in football, the cornerback is the person that kind of receives, tell me if I'm correct, receives the ball from the, from someone. He receives the, yes, correct, yes. Yeah. And then the point is he has the shortest memory and he knows how to get the game going. So being a cornerback means that like you get up quickly from failures or successes. Like mm. Paul said, I count everything that I've achieved as loss and I keep going. Yeah. So that was really impactful for me this week. Be a cornerback. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> um, I think for me, a quote that I really find motivating, I was thinking about this question, was just the end of the book of Matthew. Jesus gives out the Great Commission in the final verse. He says, and behold, I am with you always, mm -hmm. even until the end of the age. Yes. So we don't have to be fearful in sharing the gospel and inviting our enemies to church, anything like that, because we know Jesus is with us and he's always going to be. So that's mm -hmm. very, very motivating. That's true. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in addition to that, Life Point is now available available on podcasts um, you can listen to sermons of your favorite podcasting platforms such as spotify apple podcasts amazon music and our good old youtube yes. follow us at life point alliance <laughs> the good old youtube absolutely uh this friday we will be having a silent communion as we're entering the easter week it's palm sunday here so this friday uh life point is having silent communion uh, it will be starting at 6 p.m and if you're wondering well what is silent communion it's a different type of worship service uh, we have silence for a few reasons and we take communion. Uh, the primary reason is just reflection, mm -hmm. reflection on everything that occurred throughout this week that's going to occur uh, with it being Good Friday mm -hmm. and then the resurrection and the flogging Jesus went through, the six hours endured on the cross. So it's mm -hmm. a time of reflection, a devotion, and also just a worship that goes beyond speech. Awesome. Absolutely. 6 p.m. this Friday. Mm -hmm. Really nice. I've, I wasn't there for the previous one, so I'm excited mm. to see how it goes. And in line with that, we want to invite you for our Easter services next Sunday at our normal times, 8 a.m., 9.30 a.m., and 11 um, a.m. It's a great time to bring family, invite Absolutely. your friends and coworkers who don't know Jesus. It's a great time to give their lives to Christ. But out, we're out of time here, and we're so grateful that you could join us. We'll see you in the service. See you there. <laughs> 